So, okay, we're gonna set up high sense from scratch. Let's go in here. That's a high sense TV. This one is actually a smart TV. Here's the remote control. And this is, goes for the new Spectrum boxes only. The ones that have Spectrum 110, DVR 210s on it, okay? All right, cool. First thing you're gonna do is press this menu key. All right, point towards your box, press your menu key. That's what's going on the TV. This may come up if you did not watch this video already, just watch this video. Okay, we're gonna fast forward it though, just just for time's sake. So you press select, okay, continue. It's gonna ask you to choose the remote that you have. See, we're gonna choose that one. Say to match, select. All right. You don't, you don't hear any audio right now because I have the volume on the TV turned all the way down with the original remote control. So what we're gonna do right now is fast forward this video. So we're just gonna press this button right here to fast forward it. Point it back towards the box. Fast forward. And as you can see, it's fast forward in the video. Just press it like maybe three, three, four times, and that'll go really quick. And we're almost there. And done. Okay. It's so gonna go back here now. Press OK to continue. And press to watch TV. All right, so just to reiterate, we're gonna program this remote to a high sense smart TV from scratch, the entire thing, step by step, what you would actually um, see while you do this, okay? So we're gonna hit the menu key one more time. Hit the menu key, that's what's going on the TV. Now on your TV, you're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says settings and support. You're gonna select that. Okay, then we're gonna go down one to support, select that. Then we're gonna go over to remote control, select that. Then we're gonna go over to connect remote to TV, select that. And when I say I'm selecting, I'm just navigating these keys right here, okay, select, okay? All right, now, this part right here, it says RF peer remote. So what I'm gonna do here is select that also by pressing the OK button. OK. Now it says this, to start, press and hold the options button on your, on your remote. The options button is right next to the menu key, which is right here. So menu, and this will be your options button. So I'm going to point that towards the cable box, press and hold. Press and hold maybe for like maybe 10, 10 seconds and your TV will jump to this section right here, okay? Now it's gonna say, connect to TV. Select that. And now, I don't see my TV options up here, so I'm gonna go over to view all codes, or view all brands. Scroll all the way over to H, which will get me down to, and then scroll down until I see Hisense which is over here, select that. Now it's gonna say right here, press the power button on the remote. Power button they're talking about is this one, the TV power button they're talking about. This one, not this one, but this is the one they're talking about. As you could see, it says it right there too on the icon, okay? Press that once, TV went off. That means we got the right code by the way, okay? We're gonna press it again. TV's coming back on. Okay. Now it asks you, did it work? Yes, it did. So we're just gonna press okay, so that it did work. Do you want to connect your remote to an uh, audio device? This is if you guys have sound bars, and I'll do a video for sound bars and all that. For right now, we're gonna say not now, okay? And we're just gonna exit out of there. Exit on your remote is right up top here. Exit, okay? So now, on my remote, if I do the volume, I told you I'd turn the volume all the way down with the original remote. 
a new volume. There we go. The volume is coming up. Okay? And you can use God to view all your channels. View, um, these are all on-demand stuff. TV on-demand, movies, and so forth. All right? That's it.